Networking and influence is something that you guys, as business owners, business leaders, as guys that are starting to influence, you need to start to get abreast of, I guess, the business networking environment. Now, with networking, is there's a lot of critical factors that um, will highlight how successful you can be. Um, but I guess the big thing is having the confidence to really go out there and starting to live your brand, live your product, live your service. Um, if you're an artist, I'm an artist. Everyone needs to know that. If you're a mentor, you're a mentor. You know, everyone needs to know about that. If you know you're into yoga or meditation or you're a healer, like people need to know of your skills and your trade and your craft. And part of that starts with networking. Now, typically, people that have a real gift, like you know, as a mentor or a healer, they they kind of don't associate in business networks. But it's really, really important that we start to. <clears throat> so, at the end of this, you're going to have the immediate ability to generate leads and connect with potential future clients at no cost. The outcomes, you're going to master the art of crowd communication, add value, generate leads, initiate relationships, gain confidence. You're going to have fun and you're going to develop some real good social skills. So we talk about lead generation. Now, what is that? That's people that see your, your product, you, your service, what you do, and they're interested. So we call them a lead. So lead generation is, is the ability to build your following. It allows you to be present. You know, it allows you to tell the world that, you know, I've arrived and I'm ready to rock your world. So whatever industry you're in, coaching, mentor, writer, author, speaker, musician, chef, healer, uh, whatever it is for you, <clears throat> we need to really start to make sure that, you know, people know that we've arrived. They only do that by us getting out there. So any type of networking that you do, you need to set your intention. You know, there's so many marketing and networking events you go to. Just Google networking events in your locality and there'll be so many different um, avenues for you to really start to do some offline networking and marketing. Go to Eventbrite. Eventbrite has all the different types of events coming up where you might be able to mix and match or connect with other people. But with any type of influence, it's about... Your ability to set your intention. My intention going to this network event is to just, I want to listen to 30 people's stories and I want to really just bring power and passion and energy in. But really set an intention, set a focus. You're not just rocking up. There's a deliberate reason for your attending this session or this this workshop or this retreat and, and make sure that you become really precise with that. So with any type of strategy, there's always a right way and a wrong way. It's really important that we... I guess, approach networking um, in the most appropriate way. And that is to be self. That is to give to other people, to listen to other people's story. Um, you know, a lot of networking events that I used to go to as a, as a business owner, um, you know, you just, people walk in the room and they just want to talk about self. And they would walk around with their chest out and, you know, they'd be doing, going on this like real hero of, kind of walk through the room and they just wanted everyone to know who they were. Was I, I used to look at that and used to make me kind of amused. Um, and I guess the thing is, as someone who is a real influencer with people, that's not the sort of person that wins. That's not the sort of person that you choose to follow, right? You want to make sure that you find the person who's interested in everyone else. That's you, right? You need to be interested in everyone else. You need to be learning. You want to be listening to everyone's story. That's the power of networking and real influence. So when you go to any networking event, I want you to be the beacon of light. I want you to just bring passion and energy and connection and value. Do not talk about self. It's about other people. People love talking about themselves. You love listening about other people. That's how you draw people. But you need to be passionate. You need to own your shit. You need to be the one that walks around confident, listening to other people. If you want to win, if you want to influence, if you want to get leads, if you want to get contacts that you can follow up with, do not make it about you. It is not about you. This is the difference between you and everyone else. Everyone else makes it about self. When you rock up to these events, it's not about you. Your intention might be, I'm going to connect with 15 people and I'm going to hear their story and I'm going to learn as much as I can about them. And then from then, you know where they're at, you know where they're going, you know what business they're in or you know where they're at in their stages of life. That's when you can impart their difference. Well, that's really interesting about that. I had a similar story, but let me hear more about you. Because now you're drawing connection, there's synergy, you're hearing more, you're like, hey, I think I, I think I can help you with that. You know what we should do? We should actually connect at the end of this because I know that some of the problems you're having right now, this is what I do. Like, I would love to hear more of your story and I think at the end of this, we should book in a session and connect. It is not about you. Be confident, stay humble. We always lead with love and abundance. Always, nothing else. No ego, no arrogance. When you leave a networking event, Always follow up with a meeting before you leave. Oh, that was so great connecting, Joe. I'd love to hear more about your story. How about we connect on Tuesday at 12 p.m.? Does that work? Yeah, cool, cool. All right, well, I've got your card now, or you've got my card. Always get their details because then you're in control. 
I've got your card now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to email you, but otherwise I'm going to lock it in the calendar. I'll send you an invite. It's going to catch up at Tuesday at 12. Bang. You can only do that because you know their story. So always book a follow-up meeting before you leave. The big thing is don't be vanilla. Be the difference and influence. Don't be like everyone else. Bring passion, love, light, energy, humility. Just be you. Connect with other people. Learn about their story. Know who they are because now you know more about them and their business. You know how you can impart your level of difference. If you're just talking about self, you don't know anything. So it's about connecting with as many people as possible. Be the one that they're like, wow, like they go to their friends and they go, I just connected with this person and they're incredible. Add to your 150 list, all right? There's a 150 list in here. The big thing with your 150 list is I want you to add as many people to your 150 list as possible. Every networking event, every lead through social media, everything that you do, I want you to add to your 150 list. Every time you go to a networking event, get those list of names and numbers. Your thing might be, I'm going to get 10 cards and I'm going to then send 10 calendar invites and I'm going to talk about what I do. This is how the connection starts. This is where the real value add and your ability to network with other people. If you're just spoken to 10 people and they're like, oh, in my life right now, I'm really struggling with this or this. You're like, hey, that's great. I can help you with that. Or my business is this. Or like, I really want to get into yoga or meditation. I don't know how. Or I've been trying to find a healer for years. I just can't find someone I connect with. Bang. You're like, hey, this is what I do. Let's connect. I can help you with this. You add them into your 150 list. This is how you start to grow your audience. It's so important that you get this right. It is not about you. It is about them. It's about growing your influence and leverage. Right, eh, legends? Awesome, awesome. Get your asses out to some networking events. Start to Google it. Look at Eventbrite. Look at all sorts of things. Networking events, marketing events, business events, or Google events relational to your niche and start to attend them. Start to be the person in the room that everyone talks about when they leave. Right, eh? Rock and roll.